From well-known storage hunter to charity giver, survivor, and podcaster, Brandy Passante is doing more than just going treasure hunting every week. Here's what she's been up to today. Brandy Passante and her co-star slash boyfriend, Jared Schultz, welcomed two kids, Peyton and Cameron, before their stint on Storage Wars. While her success meant more money to provide for her kids, it resulted in unwanted attention from the public. According to Passante, her rise to stardom was an anxiety-filled one. As her popularity on the show grew, she'd find herself in uncomfortable situations whenever she'd step out in public. Passante told Lifetime, This may come as a surprise to some people, but I'm actually a very shy person. I even get anxiety when I have to go out to the store or to the gas station because I'm afraid of people approaching me. Safe to say, this passed down to her children, as she revealed that they're also not fans of the limelight. Outside of their brief appearances on Storage Wars and their short-lived spin-off Brandy and Jared, married to the job, not much is known about her two children. On February 22, 2020, Passante posted a picture of Peyton on Instagram with the caption, I stopped posting pictures of my babies because some creepy ass dudes were harassing them. Brandy Passante met Jared Schultz while working at a carpet cleaning company in 1999. Much like their banter-filled relationship, the two seemingly have different perspectives on who came onto who first, according to the Orange County Register. Nonetheless, their effortless interactions with each other made fans believe Brandy and Jared were endgame. Unfortunately, on the 13th season premiere of Storage Wars, Passante revealed that as of 2018, the two are no longer an item. In the episode, Passante stated, I'm not with Jared anymore. Schultz believed this wouldn't be an issue in their auctioning endeavors as long as they didn't cross paths. Although their spin-off show suggested that they would get married, the two never tied the knot. Through his Instagram, it became apparent that Schultz seamlessly moved on as he began to post selfies with his girlfriend, Rachel Beckman. Passante revealed that she's not only taking her time adjusting to the single life after 19 years, but taking on the responsibility of being a single mother as well. As she told Danny Jordan on The Dad Diary, I have them all the time, 24-7, they're here with me, so I have to navigate that. Jared Schultz seemingly took no time jumping into another relationship after splitting with Brandy Passante. Although Passante's Instagram may suggest that she is actively dating, the a and &E alumni stated that she is not looking to get into any relationships. During her appearance on Spirit Talk, hosted by Siobhan and Sabrina, Passante described herself as being, quote, emotionally dead inside. Despite the harsh words, she expressed an essential need to focus on her well-being, telling Siobhan and Sabrina, I, I um, wasn't really allowed to have an identity for many, many years, and, and so these last couple of years of kind of coming into my own and, and figuring out who I am. While this may seem unfortunate, Passante revealed that her therapist stated that this is only temporary. Siobhan and Sabrina seem to share that same notion as they revealed that their readings indicate that she will meet somebody very soon. It's coming in the next few years, and it's very unexpected. Not somebody you would normally be attracted to and beautiful eyes. Siobhan then added that this person would not only shower her with love, but he would also be someone of status. Aside from her matter-of-fact personality, Passante appeared very hopeful after hearing the good news. The sometimes tense animosity between each of the enthusiastic bidders on Storage Wars seemingly spilled into their real life. According to Brandy, she wasn't close to those on the show. She even went as far as to express her dislike towards Dave Hester during her appearance on The Happening Now with Hammer podcast. When Hammer asked if that was one of her favorite co-stars, she responded, and I, and I don't think that that's a secret. Um... Hester's been notorious for appearing as the show's main antagonist, and according to Passante, he didn't care for masquerading as a nice guy. Although she may not get along with the uncivil treasure hunter, she did reveal that she's still in touch with Barry Weiss and Kenny Crossley. In an interview with Inquirer.net, Passante and Jared suggested that they remained good friends with Weiss following their departure in 2014, saying, We like Barry. We've kept in touch. We see him a few times a year. We hang out. As for Kenny Crossley, Passante revealed that they remained good friends, stating he's one of her, quote, favorite humans. Outside of her treasure hunting endeavors, Brandy Passante made it known that mental health is vital. Amid her ever-growing popularity, Brandy revealed that the amount of attention she was getting caused her great stress and anxiety, saying, I did have to have a little bit of therapy about it. I didn't like to leave the house for quite some time, but I'm good now. It's safe to assume that Passante became involved in helping others due to her own mental struggles. 
If you were to take a brief look at her Instagram, you'd see several posts of the charities she's participated in, from promoting the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention on Instagram to emceeing a Women's Own Worth event. Basante has had her hands full trying to give back to organizations she seemingly cares about. According to the Saline Courier, 2019's Wowapalooza saw the organization raise over $100,000 with the help of Pasante. Driven by pure intentions, Pasante revealed that the organization was skeptical about having her MC the event due to her celebrity status. However, the Storage Wars reality star had no problem helping out for free, saying, I have experienced some things in my life, and it's a really wonderful cause. It's things that are needed, so I wanted to help in any way possible. Helping to raise $100,000 for a charity event revolving around domestic violence was more than just an act of goodwill from the A&E alumni herself. On Instagram, Pasante revealed she is a survivor of domestic abuse. In 2021, she unveiled a meaningful hand tattoo that read, Brie. Pasante penned a lengthy caption explaining its meaning, writing, To me, it means that somehow, by the grace of God, I managed to escape a very difficult situation that so many people fall victim to. I will be eternally grateful for the life and freedom without fear that I get to live now." Although she never specified who this was about, many of her followers believe this may be a callback to Jared Schultz's alleged domestic abuse charge in May of the same year. According to TMZ, Schultz and Passante got into an argument that resulted in Schultz pushing her twice in front of her friends. The two at the time were broken up and seemed to have moved on from their 19-year-long relationship. However, they seemingly built up tension that may have reawakened amid their appearance together on the set of the 13th season of Storage Wars. 2020 was a year filled with uncertainty for not just us, but for Brandy Passante. Along with contracting COVID-19, the reality star seemingly lost tight-knit family members throughout the year. On October 26, 2020, Brandy Passante took to Instagram to announce that her father had passed away. By quoting Neil Young's, Angels flying too close to the ground, the daddy's girl acknowledged her father's kind soul while declaring that she's tired of 2020 being a year filled with grief, writing, I can't think of a time that you ever got mad at me or yelled at me. I absolutely used that to my advantage. I will miss you terribly. Now, if everyone I love could stop dying in such close proximity, that would be great. For her father, it seemed like this was a long-winded battle. During her appearance on Spirit Talk, hosted by Siobhan and Sabrina, she revealed that her father had faced several medical hardships for 35 years before his passing, revealing, He had rheumatoid arthritis, he had osteoporosis, he got liver cancer, he so many things. He ended up uh, dying of lung cancer. As a result of several diagnoses, her father was seemingly depressed a revelation that Siobhan picked up on during her reading. While the loss may still be fresh in her head, the two revealed that he is watching over her, reassuring Pisante that he loved her dearly. Is it much of a surprise that the TV personality herself hopped on the podcasting bandwagon? Given Brandy Pisante's sharp wittedness, most would assume she'd fit right in with the Joe Rogans and the Andrew Schultzes of the world. According to Hammer and Troy from the Happening Now with Hammer podcast, they seem to carry that same notion. On June 24, 2021, she made her first appearance on the show. Though it seemed like she was merely a guest, Hammer opens up the episode by suggesting that Passante may become a regular on the podcast. Before discussing several topics regarding her journey to Storage Wars, Hammer stated, We have a new friend of ours that's going to be joining us uh, periodically, hopefully more often than not. Fortunately, Brandy Passante became a regular on the show, starring in almost every weekly episode since her first appearance. Despite Hammer jokingly having a different take on how they met, the two met at a dive bar. Their friendship presumably reached the point where they trusted Passante enough to be a dedicated co-host. On her Instagram, you could see her promote the podcast alongside posting quirky selfies of them hanging out. As for the podcast, topics discussed on the show range from weird holiday traditions to OnlyFans stories. As fans of Storage Wars, Hammer and Alex even had Don and Laura Dotson, Kenny Crossley, and Lisa Delarios on their podcast. Despite her prolonged break from reality television, the matter-of-fact buyer herself returned to Storage Wars for its 13th season. Brandy Passante said her return to the show was out of sheer boredom. Aside from her other endeavors, it seems that Passante hasn't fed into her passion for treasure hunting in quite some time. Her long-awaited return to real-life TV saw her reunite with Barry Weiss, Kenny Crossley, Dan and Laura Dotson, and her ex-boyfriend, Jared Schultz. Passante, 
who was slightly uncomfortable being on set with Schultz, tried to avoid him. However, this was short-lived, as the 13th season premiere saw the two run into each other at an auction. Though they may have preferred to stay as far from each other as possible, it didn't take long for them to make wisecracks at each other's expense. Although it took some time for the cast members to get back into the swing of things, Passante assured fans that this didn't stop them from producing a great season, telling pop culture in 2021, from what I hear, this season is shaping up to be one of the funniest seasons. While fans were ecstatic about Brandy's return to Storage Wars, they couldn't help but notice that she sounded a lot different from what they remembered. According to Passante, this is due to a rare autoimmune disorder. When asked about her scratchy voice on Instagram, Passante responded, I have Hashimoto's disease, an autoimmune disease that affects my thyroid. Sometimes it makes my throat raspy. According to the Mayo Clinic, Hashimoto's disease halts the production of hormones our thyroid produces. While the disorder can cause several alarming health issues like reproductive dysfunction and cardiovascular diseases, it seems that Passante's only apparent symptom is a scratchy voice. Despite being affected by a rare autoimmune disorder, it seems that Passante still leads a healthy life nonetheless. She's seemingly doing well, as the disease hasn't prevented her from returning to Storage Wars and continuing her co-hosting duties on her podcast. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. You can also find more information, resources, and support at their website.